Cyberpunk 2077 got the Netrunner patch 1.6 which is live right now with some huge performance updates especially for the Steam Deck. Now I'm not going to tell you which side is which here but let's name it in the comments below which you think looks better out of the left and right here as one of these is the optimized settings using the standard FSR implementation in 1.6 and the other is using the FSR2 mod using the DLSS settings. Both of these running on the same in-game settings, so let us know what you think looks best. Now one of the biggest changes from the 1.6 patch was they fixed the Steam Deck setting. I say fixed, this is definitely a better preset, but it is also targeting 30 frames per second. Unfortunately it also has motion blur on by default, which just really annoys me, but if you don't mind motion blur, then actually this Steam Deck setting off the bat is actually okay if you cap your Steam Deck at 30 frames per second. However, as you'll notice, it doesn't always manage to hold that perfectly, but that's the same for any of these settings. So if you're happy with 30 frames per second, you could now use the off-the-shelf Steam Deck setting and either turn motion blur off or just tweak it very slightly down to get that solid 30 frames per second. Now if you do want to tweak this to get 40 frames per second, then there's a fair amount you do need to change. So if you come in here and actually change all of these settings that were on high down one level, and also turn off the motion blur, lens blur, chromatic abbreviation, then you'll get a much, much closer to a solid, stable 40 frames per second. And when people beep you, it's always good to see the uh, reaction pointing your gun at them. The reactions in 1.6 are much better than they were previously, and this is those settings with the motion blur turned off. So you can see that 40 frames per second is much more achievable, but I do notice the FSR graininess a little bit more on this setting. However, it does make it work quite well. So if you do want to get rid of some of that pixelation, then keep motion blur on. If you don't like motion blur, then you're going to have to put up a little bit of that pixelation and get a much more stable 40 frames per second using the 40 hertz cap with V-Sync on on the Steam Deck. So what about the FSR2 mod? Well. Again, going with the Steam Deck setting, but it's similar to what I just showed. I'm also going to drop the AA down to eight times. Everything else dropped down to one level off that high again. And away we go. So this is using the same settings, but this time using Balanced DLSS with the FSR2 mod. Now, I still prefer this mode. And if you can remember back to the start of this video, the left image was actually the standard version on these settings and the one on the right was the FSR2 mod. Looking at them now more closely side by side, it is very little difference. But what I do find is that the responsiveness does feel a little bit better on the FSR2 mod. And if you want to install that, I'll leave the guide in the description below. But I'm starting to think whether it's actually worth that effort. Especially if you're gonna play at 30 frames per second, that FSR2 mod does not make as big a difference as it did before. So let us know in the comments below if you think it's still worth it. I will also note that if you are using the FSR2 mod and you were on the previous version, you will have to remove it and reinstall it to get it to work properly. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here of the FSR2 mod version on these best settings so you can get a better feel for the game and performance. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.